All right, so welcome to this class. We are going to deal with this equation very, very well. And uh, it's a question on that reactivity, or sometimes I'll call it nuclear physics. So you see, we have a nuclei of atomic mass of A and atomic number of Z for a nuclide, and which emit in succession two alpha particles, three beta particles, and one neutron to form a product of Y, represent the transformation by an equation. All right, we, if you look at this, we have um, two alpha particle. What is alpha particle? Whenever we talk about alpha particle, we are going to be as uh, atomic mass is four and the atomic number is two for the helium. This is the what? Alpha. Then we have another one dimension, which is beta. Beta is minus one, not. This is beta and we call it beta, all right, which is electron. And we have a neutron, neutron. This neutron is given as um, zero, one. This is neutron. So these are three elements that we are called here, but then if you look at it, they say two alpha. Two alpha is something as well in two, four, two He. This is how I like to put it. Then um, three, Beta particles is going to be 3, 0, minus 1, E. Then, and the, the neutron. So these three basic um, terms or parameters are what I'm going to use in solving this question. Now let's look at how we are going to deal with it. We are starting with this one. We are having A, Z for the X. Whenever it gives alpha particles, I'm going to write 2, 4, 2, H, E, which is the particle it gave. So whenever it gives out this alpha particle, a new element is going to form. I'm going to call it plus a new um, element. I don't know the element, so I will call it nuclide. That nuclide is going to have A minus 2 times 4 is going to be 8, and then Z minus 2 times 2 is going to be 4, and this is A. Let me use capital A. Why am I writing this? Because, look at this, whenever alpha particle is involved in a nuclear equation, we have a general formula. The general formula is given as this. Um, let's say A, Z, X has a general formula, which is A minus 4 and Z minus 2. 4, H, E. Okay, let me call it Y. Then plus the um, 4, 2, H, E. Then plus... Uh, energy released. So this, you see, this is a balanced equation whenever alpha particle is involved in a nuclear equation. So this is the way it should be. So knowing that, I am now writing this. What I have written is exactly the same as this. But in this case, two alpha particles are involved. That is why I'm saying two times four, which is eight here, and two times two, which is four here. All right. This is the first one. So the next thing that happened is to form again for three. Um, electrons and whenever electron is involved in a nuclear reaction, the general equation is given as A Z X given as um, let's say A plus zero and Z plus one for this plus zero minus one E right then plus energy. So whenever I'm going to target electron right now, I'm going to be atomic number will be added plus one and Atomic mass is going to add nothing, which is plus zero. So the same thing is just leave it like this to be tidied. So after this is formed, after, after the alpha particle is formed, a new element is this one. So then what happens? This new element forms again. When it forms again, the next thing we are targeting is three or three beta particle. And this three beta, beta, beta particle is going to now form a new element and we'll be calling it B. This new element is going to have atomic mass of what? A minus 8. Why? Because whenever an um, electron is involved, the atomic mass for the nuclide is the same. It doesn't change. So this value, A minus 8, is still going to be the same thing. Because 3 times 0 is 0, and this is just the same way. Now, this is going to be 3 times minus 1 is going to be minus 3. Now, I am adding, I'm going to add sorry, I'm not going to add, I'm going to add the 3 to this 1. So this is going to be Z minus 4 plus 3, which is going to be Z minus 1. So this is what I'm going to have 
as atomic mass. All right? Now, from this, a new element is going to be formed. After this is formed, the new element is formed. The new element is going to have this atom. Neutron is coming in. So for that, I'm going to have... Oh, sorry, that shouldn't be... This should be one on top. Sorry for that. This is one on top and uh, zero down. All right, I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have one zero n plus that new element which is y this is the end so i'm writing y so at this point i'm going to have a minus nine do you know why i need to balance it this plus this will give me a minus eight if i don't include this minus if i don't increase this number when i solve them i will not be able to get this because Energy is neither created nor destroyed, but converted from one form to the other. So, the value of a minus eight must balance with this one and this one. What I'm saying is this: Look at what I'm trying to explain. If I keep this like this, it's going to be one. Uh, it's going to be minus eight plus one, which will give me minus seven. But this value is not minus seven, so I have to increase this value. Since one is here, I have to increase this value to nine. All right, so this is going to be nine. So what happens on the on this side? Nothing happened because z minus one is going to be plus this, so it's going to be z minus one. So this is the new element formed, and this is the equation that led to this form. For being part of this class, remember to always hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day.